Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Coker, and this is Christian WebMD. The topic at hand is the treatment of high blood pressure, and this is the second section on it. In the previous section, we discussed some of the more common medications, and we'll continue to do that in this section as well. One of the more common medications is the calcium channel blockers. You might know these as Norvasc or Verapamil, or even Cardizem from time to time. They're very effective. However, they are slow to work, and sometimes they can slow the heart rate. They also cause swelling in the lower extremities, but they are very effective and considered a fairly safe medication. The next one is called the angiotensin receptor blockades. These are medications that work on the kidneys to help lower blood pressure. They work especially well when people cannot tolerate the ACE inhibitors that was discussed in the previous section. Sometimes those ACE inhibitors cause coughs. And when they do, your physician oftentimes will reach for one of these type of medications. The main problem with these type of medications is that they're not very strong and they can be quite ex expensive. They include Losartant, Valsartant, and Herbisartan. Talk to your doctor if they think that this medication is right for you. However, one more medication does need to be discussed, and that's a medication called clonidine. It's considered its own type of medication, an alpha agonist. It is often used when blood pressure is very high. Oftentimes when blood pressure is, for instance, 180 over 110 or higher, it is used. It is very effective. However, it does cause dry mouth and some sleepiness. Because of that, it's often used when nothing else seems to work. Remember, this video is for educational use only and should not be used to diagnose or treat any disease. Please contact your physician if you have questions about the treatment of high blood pressure. And thank you for watching Christian WebMD. Mm -hmm.